Hi, this is Lou Agave of Long Island Loot Tequila on Facebook, Instagram, and the web. Thanks for looking at my YouTube channel. Please subscribe. Today, you can't take it with you. Guys, the Lighthouse series, Cabo Wabo, when Sammy Hager was in the game. Now, this, according to Cabo Master, Daryl Speaker, this is a third generation, but second Lighthouse series bottle. Now, there was a first Mexican original lighthouse version, which I don't think came to the U.S. Then there was the nice colored label before this, and this is now what they're calling the second lighthouse series. Okay, you can see the lighthouse, see? And then what happened was it went after this to what they call the agave foil series. You know, and now they're at now 1440 and they're using the column still and you could just forget about that. So this is when Cabo was really good. Now they had six distilleries. Six. You believe that? Okay, so this guy was like the second or third distillery they were at. And um, this is Nam 1467, okay? So that's the one we got here. We have Nam 1467. And it's looking like it was made way back in the early to mid 2000s, okay? So I'm going to open this up right on camera today. I've never had this exact version, okay, of Cabo Wabo. Never before. So we're going to check it out, and we're going to see what it's like, okay? We'll do it just for you, and let's do this right on camera, okay? I've been looking at the bottle for a while, and you can't take it with you, so what the hell? All right, here we go. And the cork broke. And that's what happens with a lot of these old bottles. So I'm going to do a little minor surgery, and I'll be right back. Okay, so just by using a little gadget like this, I was able to get most of it out, but totally disintegrated. I mean, this thing is just old. But I got most of it out. I don't think I even have any floaters in there, imagine. So here we go. We're going to try out the Cabo Wabo back in the good old days. Oh, this is the second Lighthouse Series bottle. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's strong. What is it? It's a mint. Mint. It's the first thing I'm I'm hitting on. Sweetness, different kind of agave sweetness than you're getting like in a lot of products today or other products I've tried. It's like a minty sweetness. Floral, some pepper, or like some anise, almost like an anisette kind of thing. This is really nice. Definitely mint and agave. Citrus, I guess you'd have to say. And it's fragrant, so... It's floral, you know what I mean? So, got a nice nose. A guy, a nice, fragrant, minty nose. A little different than what I expected. So, let's give it a hit. Nice. Nice. Some spice. Some citrus. Minty. Sweet. Maybe even a little vanilla. Oh, wow, that smell. The nose is, to me, the king over the taste. The nose is the prevalent one. Um, I really like this, though. I like that I like that minty anisette type of uh, the nose. A little earthy. Really nice. I mean, something like this on Tequila Matchmaker. This Nam, now, remember, we're rating Nam 1467. You know, I'm going to have to say, you know, this is, uh, well, it's different tasting than most Blancos, I'll tell you that. But I definitely put it up as an 83. I really would. You know, I've been getting uh, messages from a guy called Esteban Martinez. Seems like a nice fellow. He's been asking me to do reviews on this bottle. He's got a bunch of them. So it was my pleasure to do that. And yeah, it's really unique. So you can't take it with you. This is Cabo Wabo Lighthouse, and you have a great day. Lou Agave from Long Island Lou Tequila.